In the early 1900s, it took a rare breed to move to Arizona and set up house. That's why the Benelli home in Kingman is such an architectural wonder for its time. It's a beautiful expression of Anglo territorial architecture, for one thing, um, and the fact that it was a loving home with a big family. George Benelli was the son of a Swiss pioneer who bought up huge swaths of southwestern territory. They acquired land that had lots of springs, and they had uh, ranch houses scattered over 250,000 acres of grazing land. A fire burned the first Benelli home down to the ground. So they built it again, only this time bigger, better, and with tufa stone, which was quarried locally. That's a form of calcite. Um, and then the um, verandas on three sides, which were a wonderful attribute to the house. That's what gives it the territorial style. There are other homes made of tufa stone, but the Benelli's house had modern conveniences few could claim this side of the Mississippi including his uh, passive air conditioning system and um, a lot of the other features that he put in here to make it a comfortable home as well. Imagine cool air flowing through this high desert home more than half a century before air conditioning came to light. It helped that he built this cupola on top of the house. George put that up for two purposes, to draft the hot air out through the top of the home. But the second feature was that the children could go up and use it as a lookout and a playroom. And while they were in the playroom, they had to keep their eye out watching for dad. They would notify mom, and Effie would have dinner on the table ready to eat by the time he had put the horse up in the stable and come in. His wife, Effie, worked mainly at this cast iron stove to get those meals ready. It was mounted on the floor um, primarily to, uh, for two purposes. One, uh, because Effie was short, and so for her stature it was ideal. And then um, the second thing was he brought the, the pipes up through the floor in the kitchen through the firebox of the stove to a huge water tank behind. For frontier folks, having constant hot water throughout the house in the early 1900s was pure luxury. And George could afford it, which is why... He went to San Francisco and acquired the huge wall safe that uh, is here. Um, it weighs probably somewhere over 3,000 pounds, and um, it's a double door safe, and it's all hand-painted. Today, the Benellis are scattered all over the country. But the home is still here in Kingman, now a museum filled with early 1900 antiques. The family donated it to remind us how far hard work and ingenuity can take you, even in harsh territorial times. <laughs>